Hello and welcome to Autodesk Simulation TV. In this episode of Simulation in Action, we're going to be looking at natural frequency to determine how my part vibrates. My name is James Herzing and I'm a technical consultant here with Autodesk. So in this example, we're going to be looking at a tuning fork made out of steel to determine a, a preset number of modes and to verify these results with a mass participation factor of over 80%. The key learning objectives are how to import a model from Fusion, how to define a desired number of modes for your analysis, and how to verify these results. Verifying these results again goes back to the mass participation factor being over 80%. We'll take a look at that in the software. So let's get in there right now. So here we are in the Inventor Fusion interface. You can see that we have our model created here. It's our tuning fork. So now all we have to do is send the model to Simulation Mechanical. To do that, we have to come up to the ribbon, click on the Simulation Mechanical button, and then choose our analysis type to be modal or natural frequency. Let's click OK, and you'll see our model is brought into the interface. So the next thing that we're going to do is click the mesh button after we rotate our model around so that it looks as it did in Fusion. So with it rotated, we're going to go back up to the ribbon and we're going to go and click on mesh and then the 3D mesh settings. With these options here, we can choose to uncheck one of our boxes which is going to give us a more consistent mesh throughout the model and then reduce, reduce our mesh size so that we have more elements through the thickness. When we do that, our part will finish meshing and you're going to see that right here our material shows up as steel, which was defined inside of Fusion. The next thing that we're going to do after reviewing this material to verify that all of the properties are there is to define our boundary conditions. So to do this, again, we go up to the ribbon and we're going to choose to select surfaces and grab the four surfaces of the handle and we're going to add fixed boundary conditions to all of these. So you could either right click and do this or go to the ribbon bar, choose general constraints and choose fixed. You'll see the triangles there representing the fixed boundary conditions. And now the last thing we do is enter to the parameters. Here we can define how many modes we want to calculate. We're going to enter 20 and click OK and then go to analysis and press run analysis. This is going to finish our solid mesh and then it's going to calculate the different mode shapes. Now why did we choose 20 modes? Well, we want to capture all of the modes of importance and keep our mass participation factor above 80%. Why is that? Once we have a value of 80%, which we'll look at in the log file, we're going to be confident in our results to make sure that we've seen all of the proper modes that we need to look at. So once this finishes analyzing, we're going to hop over to the results and take a look at maybe the first nine or 10 mode shapes. So here you can see our results and what mode we're looking at and the frequency. You can also see that we have a colored contour on our model with displacement in the legend. This doesn't necessarily mean that our part displaced this many inches or millimeters. It's just a normalized value uh, for the rest of our results to be calculated off of. If we go into the log file, we can scroll down and here you can see we have a mass participation factor which is over 80%, meaning that our results are good to go. That's all there is to a natural frequency analysis. So hopefully you've learned a bit here and uh, understand how easy this is. If you do have any questions on this episode, please feel free to reach out to us at the Sim Squad. Thank you.